Okay, I'm going to continue on in the entrepreneurial series, and obviously I don't care whether you believe what I say or not, but I've seen things, and I look at life as pragmatically as I can, and uh, one of the things that we look for when we go into an entrepreneurial endeavor, especially one that doesn't feel like it's working up to its potential, is we look for what we call the saboteur, the person on board that doesn't want to be there, or the person that is on board that's miserable in their lives and feels maybe unconsciously compelled to bring people to their level. Uh, here we go. If a person, I ask people, where's your life on a scale from 1 to 10? And uh, 10 being the most magnificent, you can't imagine it getting any better. 1 being you're looking to see if the building near you is close enough to do enough damage that even if you don't care yourself, you won't have to... Uh, suffer through the rest of life. But uh, people have said anything from 12 to 2. And I ask people uh, if they say 5. Let's say they say 5. My life is 5 on a scale from 1 to 10. Now let's make it easier. Let's say they say 6. Okay, 60% is working, 40% is shit. So I ask them what they think that 40% is doing. And most of the times, well, just laying there dormant or something. But what I believe is, if a person's life is a six, I believe that 40% of their unconscious energy goes to make sure that you don't get what you want. I know that sounds harsh and cruel, but if a person is not happy in their life, and they're in your life, they're going to go out of their way to see if they can make your life less magnificent. And... It, I just, I've seen it over and over and over again that uh, people who, whose life is less than 10, if it's an 8, it's usually pretty good because then there's 20% of their energy working against other people getting what they want. They see it as high as they can see, and that's it. So we're not, when I go into a, a business endeavor, an entrepreneurial endeavor, uh, looking for the saboteur is looking to see what the entrepreneur wants. Uh, I'm in the midst of reading Steve Jobs' biography, and they say that he insisted on having what he called A players around him all the time. Uh, somehow he knew he was destined uh, for a big game, apparently a relatively short game, but, uh, and he would not put up with people that he didn't want around him or that he did not feel were up to the capacity to work with him. And he would get rid of them. If he said, if I can't have A players, I don't want players. Uh, if you're in an entrepreneurial endeavor and you want it to work, you're going to have to be ruthless. And if those people who are less than happy are on your team, if they're valuable enough to keep on your team, then all I have to do is follow the rules. The entrepreneur has fun. I have fun. If you can't see that I have fun, park your shit outside. If you can't, then go away for today. Don't come into work with your <clears throat> with your stuff. I don't need your baggage. I need you. I need your full intelligence. And if you can't bring it in today, well, then today is not the day that you need to work. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com